shout out to Nate's Tarot and Country and Irish fan for subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much. And um, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be uh, randomly picking one or two subscribers in future videos for a random shout out. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're making shampoo bars. I thought um, I'll uh, do a video covering shampoo bars since I haven't done one in the past. Um, this was an accidental recipe actually. I just, I wasn't too sure about how to formulate a shampoo bar when I first started and I really wanted to create one because that was highly requested from customers and retail stores. So I went ahead and just researched, you know, carrier oils and butters that are really good for the hair and I combined them all together and I didn't think it would be very good because what I found on the internet that of, you know, having a shampoo bar 5% super fat is not really good for the hair and um, it will leave it oily and, you know, A, B and C. And I really had made a couple of batches of them to try them out. I'm like, oh no, you know, I formulated them wrong. But um, I actually ended up just giving them away as gifts and uh, for family and friends to try. And I got such positive feedback from it. So I'm like, okay, well, there must be something in what I did. So I just replicated it over and over and then I ended up releasing it as a product and it's actually quite popular now. It's um, one of my most uh, popular products that I actually sell. So I just melted down the hard oils. So what's, what makes up this shampoo bar? In here I have uh, three different types of clay. I have 1% kale and white clay, 1% Russell or Moroccan red clay and 1% bentonite clay. And I found from doing my research, those three clays are really, really good for the hair. So I thought, okay, why not just combine a little bit of each and see how it goes. So it turned out really well. And for the hard oil portion, it's 30% um, organic coconut oil, 10% organic mango butter, 10% um, organic unrefined shea butter. And for the liquid portion, 30% um, olive oil, 10% castor oil, and 10% virgin argan oil. And argan oil is really, really good for their hair. Uh, all these carrier oils are really good for their hair, but especially argan oil. I found during my research, um, it's actually quite beneficial for conditioning their hair. So I thought, okay, you know, I'll try that combination. And that's how I first did my first batch. And I didn't think it would, um, I, didn't, I didn't actually know how it would turn out. I thought it would be okay by reading, you know, conflicting stuff on the internet about, you know, having a lower super fat for shampoo bars. I didn't think I created it right after, you know, it's cured and I was giving it out as samples. But from my experience from customers and everyone giving positive feedback, um, I've just stuck with the recipe. Everyone says it's really, really good for the hair. Obviously this recipe isn't good for oily hair, but it's good for all other scalp and hair types, like normal, you know, dry, especially dry, really, really good for dry hair. Um, really good for, you know, sensitive scalp and, you know, dandruff and all that sort of stuff. I have gotten feedback for people with oily hair that it's not the best. It does make the hair more oily or greasy, which I understand because, uh, you know, it is quite heavy, like with the butters and um, the super fat as well. But for all other hair types, people saying that it's fantastic, they love it. So I haven't um, changed the recipe, I left it just like it is. I have tried to create a recipe for oily hair. I haven't had any success. Um, I will continue to try. To be honest, I haven't um, revisited that for a while. Uh, I have tried a couple of batches in the past very unsuccessfully. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but I haven't given up on it. I would like to create a shampoo bar um, targeting oily hair. But for all other hair and scalp types, this recipe is really, really good. So that's the oil phase. That's um, the hard oils here. I will just combine the soft oils with the hard oils. And obviously this is the light solution, standard 3% um, cane sugar or raw sugar and 1.2% pink salt in that. And I'm just about to pour the sodium lactate because the light water is under 50 degrees, so that's fine. 
I'm comfortable adding the sodium lactate to live water that's below 50. I have added it to live water above 50 and I didn't notice any difference. It still performed the way it's meant to in terms of unmolding your bars quicker, um, you know, lather boosting and all the other properties you get from sodium lactate. I didn't notice any difference in adding it at hotter temperatures, but I guess I've just been doing it below 50 lately, so I'm just going to stick to that. It doesn't hurt. So definitely below 50 degrees Celsius is absolutely fine. And I absolutely love my dishwasher. I know I've mentioned that in the video already, but yes, it's um, quite fantastic. I'm really, really happy that I actually got a dishwasher. So now I don't have to wash everything by hand as I was doing for many, many years. So now I can finally put that to rest. And of course, I still have to hand wash. The only things I hand wash still, obviously the silicone molds and um, the, uh, the stick blenders, um, the attachments you take off. That's the only thing I wash by hand. Everything else I shove in the dishwasher. So again, what's going on in this pot is olive, castor and argan. Really, really good quality. Um, I, I, of course, I use um, virgin and um, organic where possible. And the organic uh, virgin argan oil is beautiful. It's got a nice nutty aroma. You can definitely smell the goodness in the oil. So I'm just combining all this. Yeah, that's what's going on. Nothing special. I already mix the clays in with the hard oils when I'm melting them down. And the reason why I do that because I'm not really doing color swirls with you know shampoo bars. I leave them quite plain. And um, you wouldn't want to um, do swirls anyway. Um, two reasons, because it's not really going to provide any benefit for the hair. If you do a little bit of colour here and there and split them off and do colour soils and all that. Um, and also this recipe does trace fairly fast because it is 50% hard oils. So I'm not going to um, do colour soils and stuff like that. So I just leave it the nice natural colour it is. It's a soft brown after it cools. Um, this new olive oil I got actually, I'm actually using a new olive oil. I change them up, you know, if I find a supplier and I want to try in you know, a couple of drums, see how they go. But this, um, this particular olive oil is Australian olive oil from Perth, Western Australia. And I actually get it from Pronto Fine Foods. And I just really love the oil. It's just fantastic quality. Um, I will put this uh, particular particular olive oil in the description of where I got it from. Um, if you live in Western Australia, they'll ship to you. If you live outside of Western Australia, you have to organize your own courier, which is fine for me because I'm a business and I have multiple business accounts with um, many different carriers. So for me, it's not a big deal whatsoever to organize my own courier. Um, but I find the best uh, price um, from Malgawa, which is where they're located, or Malaga. I don't remember how to say it actually, um, but I'll provide a link in the description. Um, in Western Australia, I find the best quote I got was Couriers, please. I found them to be the most competitive. So for those wanting to try this Australian olive oil, definitely um, dried out from Pronto Fine Foods. I paid, I think it was $115 for 20 litres, which is fantastic. And the reason why it is $115 compared to like 140 or 150 at other places is because this olive oil is food grade. So there's no GST on it, which is fantastic. So yeah, I find that was a really good find. That was an accident, I found that. And this olive oil, I tell you, it smells so fruity. It's just got such a beautiful fruity, fruity cup of um, aroma. And it's really dark green. It's just beautiful. The quality is outstanding. Um, I just used the bar the other day using this new olive oil and 
thumbs up. Very, very good. Very impressed. Love the quality. They don't sell in smaller quantities, so you do have to buy minimum 20 litres. For me, it's fine, obviously. For, you know, you guys that are in Australia that don't make that much, it might not be the best uh, solution for you. But if you are a business here in Australia, definitely give them a look up. Really, really good. Um, fries from there for that 20 kilo um, barrel uh, was 32.50, I think. Uh, so it still worked out much cheaper than, um, you know, for me buying at other places. And it's not always about price anyway, but I thought I'll just share like where I got it from. And um, I always like to go with quality. So I only bought a, you know, 120 litre just to see how it, how it goes. And I've just been testing it out. And so far I'm really, really liking the quality and it's harvested from this, this year's, this year's harvest. So it's a nice, fresh, beautiful batch. So definitely if you are a soap maker and you make, you know, fairly large quantities, give Pronto Fine Foods a look up and um, create an account with couriers, please, and get them to ship it to your location. And um, they're the most competitive uh, price I've seen. So definitely worth giving them a look up. And if you do want to buy, I think my next order I'll buy four, six barrels because this olive oil I really like. And Couriers Please actually offers, I think, you know, five to 10% off your shipping when you add more. So the more drums you get, the cheaper the fright is, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just give a shout out to that just in case people want to know where I got it from. I like to be very transparent on where I source my ingredients from. And I would like to support where I get my ingredients from as well. So for anyone that is here, definitely give them a look up. So I'm just going to wait till the low water cools down a little bit more because I do not want it to flush trace. So I'll wait till they're about, this is about 50 degrees still. I'll wait till this is about 40. Oh, it's about 35 now. Mix of coffee, number 36, and that's 50, yeah. So I'll wait for this one to, the low water to go to about 40 to 45. And what I'll do is to keep this on 36, because I don't want it to fall below. I've got the heat off my hot plate, I'll just put it on the hot plate. I don't have to turn the hot plate on, the residual heat from the hot plate will keep it at 36. And um, I will, once this cools down a little bit more, I'll combine it with the oils. And I won't blend too much because it does trace a little fast. So I will blend, you know, just a few pulses for 10, 15 seconds. And then I'll move to a whisk. I need to find, there we go, whisk. I'm reaching distance right here. And I like to use this for my stick blender. Oops. There it goes. So we'll leave it there. And um, I'll be scenting this with a essential oil blend as well. Lavender, tea tree, rosemary, and a cedar wood fix. Beautiful combination. This is the most popular one out of the shampoo bars I make. I do make another one, uh, frankincense and uh, a bit of uh, lemon essential oil and cedar wood. I do find that to be really mild. Uh, so future batches, I will be changing um, that combo. I think I'll be doing, uh, I'll be doing frankincense as well. Frankincense, cedar wood, and instead of the lemon, I'll be doing Mei Chang. Um, Cause it does smell quite lemony and it does stick far a lot better than, you know, lemon essential oil, as you know. And um, another one I do, Rose Geranium and Hardwood, which is the second uh, most popular one. And the frankincense is more popular with um, people that don't like strong scents. It's quite a, you know, earthy, subtle scent. Um, so it just depends what you like. But the lavender, tea tree, and rosemary by far is the, um, the most sought out after. And for very good reason. They are very good for the hair. And it smells really nice, the combination. 
So yeah, when done, I'm ready to mix everything up. I'll uh, hit the record button again and I'll see you at the end.